I know deep down most of the photographers have this chronic desire to create images that are admired, looked upon and even praised in certain circles. Creating photographs that can retain the viewer's attention more than 3, 4 or maybe 5 seconds, it's quite a challenging thing to realize nowadays. To facilitate this visual retention from the viewers, you need to be acquainted with visual communications to a certain degree. And for this to happen, I guess you already realized composition plays quite a significant part in photography. Being able to create visually pleasing composition in your photography is a skill, no doubt, you have been perfecting for as long as you've been taking pictures. Moving beyond the simple rule of thirds is the first step to elevate your compositional skills. I think the trick is to see the options in front of you, understand how they work and put them together to craft wonderful images. A great way to start mastering this type of skills is by delving into the world of minimalist photography. For this genre, this minimalist photography offers a refreshing approach to understanding the fundamental elements of composition. So, let's explore how the simplicity of minimalist photography can help you to understand and why not demystify the concept of composition once and for all. Perhaps you already watched videos with photographs covered in lines and heard about rules like the rule of odds and golden ratios. It can be challenging to absorb this concept fully, especially when you're out taking your own photos without those handy lines to guide you. But do not worry. Stripping down an image to its bare minimum can clarify the purpose of learning compositional elements. That's where minimalist photography shines. It allows you to focus on individual elements and understand how they come together to create compelling compositions. I think uh, we all know the best way to learn anything is to practice firsthand. I hope by the end of this video you will feel motivated and confident to go out and practice these compositional techniques. Believe me, you don't need always breathtaking scenery, breathtaking landscapes or expensive equipment because minimalist photography is about isolating a subject, make it the sole focus of your image. The first step in achieving a good composition is to focus on what you want to capture because this is the heart of minimalist photography, to isolate the subject and elevate it to a realm of singular beauty. Practice isolating subjects by finding items in your surroundings that can be the sole focus of your image. You don't have to photograph them in their original settings. Feel free to move them around to create a visually compelling shot. This way, nothing will compete with the with the attention of your viewers, but your selected and framed subject. If you can't physically isolate your subject due to various reasons, try filling the frame with it instead. By doing so, you eliminate distractions and ensure that the subject dominates the entire frame. This technique creates a powerful visual impact, leaving no room for anything else to compete for attention. And this way, the subject becomes the protagonist of your visual narrative. Anyone who has uh, even a passing interest in art is familiar with the concept of leading lines. Think of leading lines as pathways guiding your eyes through a photo. In minimalist photography, these lines take on a life of their own, weaving intricate patterns that draw the eye even closer to our focal points. They can be found in various shapes and forms, from roads to architectural elements. Experiment with creating and utilizing leading lines to direct the viewer's focus where you want it to go. On the other hand, diagonal lines add dynamism and visual interest to your photos. They draw attention to specific points of interest and create a sense of movement or a sense of dynamic energy within the frame, propelling the viewer on a visual exploration. So look for angular elements in your surroundings and incorporate them into your composition to add depth and intrigue. And next time you're out and about, Keep an eye out for leading lines and diagonals, ideas, shapes and forms that could serve as a leading lines in a composition. These elements can direct the viewer's gaze where you want it to go. These concepts in photography are not complex. Once you understand them, you can easily put them into practice. That's why I'm using minimalist photography to focus your, uh, to focus your attention on this concept for you. I hope you find it helpful. Now let's delve further into this topic. Symmetrical compositions, where the subject is centered or has equal space on either side, can create a sense of balance and harmony in your images. By embracing centered composition and symmetrical arrangements, 
we invite the viewer to pause and contemplate on the beauty of perfect equilibrium. So, explore symmetry in architecture, patterns, and natural formation to create visually relaxing compositions. In minimalist photography, we delve into the depths of our composition, exploring the interplay between foreground and background. Adding depth to your photos, you can create a sense of dimension, inviting the viewer to immerse themselves in your visually captivating narrative. Also, you can experiment with scale and foreground elements to provide context and perspective, allowing viewers to engage with your image on multiple levels. The presence of patterns can transform a simple scene into a symphony of repetition that enchants the soul by providing a mesmerizing visual experience. Whether it's the repetition of shapes or objects, patterns add rhythm and texture to your composition. You need to pay attention to patterns in your surroundings and use them creatively to enhance your photos. Well, colors plays a significant role in composition by evoking emotions and setting the mood of a photo. In minimalist photography, you have full control over the colors you incorporate. Here, you wield the color palette with precision, crafting visual creation that resonates with the soul. So don't be afraid to mix and match those hues like a master chef in the kitchen, because it adds flavor and personality to your images. Take your time experimenting with different color combinations, and observe how they interact to create balance and harmony in your images. Negative space, the empty area surrounding the subject, is like the calm in the storm. It gives the subject room to breathe, stand out, and this negative space can be just as essential as the subject itself. In the silence of negative space, the subject finds its voice, a solitary figure against a backdrop of emptiness, allowing the subject to stand out and command attention. Don't be hesitant to embrace negative space in your composition in order to create visual interest and draw the viewer's focus to the main subject. Explaining negative space, well, it's, it's the concept where the subject, although it should be the focus, isn't necessarily filling the frame. I know this idea may seem contradictory to the notion we discussed earlier, which suggests that the subject can indeed fill the frame. This duality often confuses many people about minimalist photography. There appear to be conflicting rules, if you will, where one is encouraging to fill the frame while simultaneously being advised not to. This ambiguity is precisely why exercises focusing on these principles are crucial. By engaging in exercises that involve both filling the frame with the subject and utilizing negative space, one can grasp when to apply each approach. Sometimes negative space isn't effective, and other times filling the frame isn't either. It's up to you to discern how these techniques function in your vision and how you can use them to convey what you want to express. Framing helps highlight the subject and draw attention what is truly important. More than mere boundaries, framing is not just about what is inside the frame, but also how elements within the photo frame the subject. Your job is to experiment with using foreground objects or negative space to frame your subject creatively. This technique adds depth and dimension to your composition, making them more visually appealing. Minimalist photography offers an excellent opportunity to explore how items can be used to frame subjects and how negative space can enhance compositions. These techniques are not only enjoyable to experiment with, but also empower you to take more control and become more aware of the elements at play in your photography. As you practice and become proficient with these concepts, you'll find greater motivation to go out and capture images, knowing that you have a toolkit to manipulate perception and redefine what a photograph can be. Composition in photography doesn't have to adhere strictly to rules like rule of thirds or specific ratios. It's ultimately about creating a feeling that resonates with you. Each time you compose a photograph, ask yourself if it feels right for you. If something feels off, you now have the skills and understanding to pinpoint why and adjust accordingly. I hope this discussion has been helpful in demystifying composition concept and encourages you to practice these exercises. The more you engage in photography and experiment with these techniques, the more confident you will become in integrating them into your own photographic style. As we conclude our journey through the realm of composition in photography, remember this. 
The essence of composition lies not in rules or ratios, but in the emotion it evokes. Trust your instinct, for they are the compass that guides you through the vast expanse of creative expression. By mastering these compositional techniques and practicing them regularly, you will gain confidence in your ability to capture compelling photographs. So, grab your camera, head out into the world, and let your creativity soar. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.